trabaja. Sí, vamos a grabar. Eso, aquí abajo, <ríe> ya está. Bueno, y todo. Eso. All right, so let's go ahead and get here on this mat. Oh, so we all know that um, one of the best ways to just stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system is to take just big deep breaths, right? So um, take a moment and let's just do that. I don't know if you have any bit of your day that you need to um, let go of, but let's just take a moment to see what happens if we breathe into ourselves here. So take a big inhale, and then let's exhale and see what happens. Can we sit a little bit taller? Take an inhale and just explore your insides through that act of breathing, por respirando. Take these breaths as just a momentito, just a little moment to check in, para ver cómo estás, cómo te sientes. How are you? How are you feeling? And tonight, let's just move. Vamos a mover con esta intención. We're going to move with that intention to just check in, see how everything's working. Good. So let's take a few breaths and start letting your pelvis tip forward and then let the sits bones reach down. So if it's helpful to put your hands here on your body as you're moving, just to get a sense of where the movement actually in your body is coming from, you can use your hands. They're good tools. Good. So now let's take a big breath and I want you to anchor your hips. You're going to feel the shoulder blades squeeze all the way together. Good, and then we'll anchor our hips and then I just want you to reach your rib cage side to side. So we're beginning with movement of the spine, movimiento de la columna. So you're moving the spine lado y lado aquí. And again, if you want to put some, your index fingers on your hip points, your thumbs at the base of your rib cage and feel your oblique muscles, just helping you slide your costillas, your ribs, and the rest of your torso, lado y lado. Muy bien. Again, these small movements are really good for engaging with your parasympathetic nervous system. So doing some small movements before we do larger things can help us relax. Good. Make sure we've checked in with our connective tissue. So now bring your fingertips here to your shoulders and just lightly move the shoulders through the shoulder socket. Right, so the humerus bone travels up, down, back, and forward. Right? And then if it helps you to close your eyes and kind of visualize the movement, you can see what's happening. ¿Qué está pasando con mi, con mi hombro? Right, so now I'm going to move one shoulder forward and then the opposite shoulder back. Right, so it's almost like um, hopefully you'll start to feel almost like a little stretch, un estiramiento por los hombros. Good. And then exhale, see if you can take your circulitos en otra dirección. So just take these circles the other way. Good. Again, these are really, these little movements are also great for moving lip fluid. So from the extremities in towards the thoracic duct. Right, and that's how you kind of cleanse and move. Um, instead of that liquid in the lymphs getting stagnant in your nodes, it actually is traveling them back, getting cleaned out. It's a buena cosa. Yeah. So now let's take a second, let the arms come up alongside the ears, al lado de los brazos. Uh, or bueno, al lado de las orejas, que digo yo, los brazos arriba. But, and then let's take your fingers, stretch all the way up, check in, let your thumb and pinky connect. Let your ring finger and thumb connect. Just push in for a moment, saying hello to these little joints. 206 bones in your body. Imaginate, 206 huesos en el cuerpo. Good, so now I want you to reach across your midline pull back with the arms. You're going to reach across and you can even add a little twist here. So you're getting 
a little bit of work through the obliques, a little bit of work through the shoulders. Good. Reach and kind of pull. Again, feeling a little bit of blood flow. Very nice. And then from here, let's take your fingertips all the way down and check. Neck check. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué está pasando con el cuello? What's happening with your neck as you move side to side? Good. Let the chin now move down and up. How is your neck? Como es mi cuello? Good. So now from here, let's go ahead. Let the spine get as long as you can take it. Sits bones grounded and anchored. And then let's bring your hands back behind the head. Inhale, open the chest. Good. And then exhale, come to sit tall. Let's unfold the two legs. And then I want you to keep your hands moving detrás de la cabeza. So your hands are behind the head. And now you're going to let your spine come and stretch over your two thighs. So, todavía podemos imaginar los isquillones. I want you to imagine um, your sitting bones and feel them grounded, anchored into the floor, in el piso. And then your back, la espalda, is stretching forward, just like it's one thing, right? One whole big uh, bone, per se. Good. And then from here, let's just pause with your hands back behind your head. Now stretch, reach them out. And without your neck or head falling, just vamos a hacer círculos. You're going to make circles through the shoulders. Otra vez, circulando los brazos. You're circling the arms. Let one arm go forward, other arm go back. Good. Otro brazo adelante. Very nice. Good. Open the chest fully. Completely bring now your hands to your muslos, manos on los muslos. Inhale, open the chest, it stretches forward once again. Exhale, close the legs and you'll stretch back. So I want you to begin feeling right at the front of the rib cage. Those muscles pull in as you reach back. Mientras estás estirando atrás. I love it when I find a good rhyme. Mientras estás moviendo atrás. Good, so let's try this one more time. Excellent, so can we hold back here for a moment and then slide one leg out, that's my right leg. I'm gonna get a deep flex in my foot. Inhale, take my arms over, down towards the floor, big stretch, check your cuello, check your neck. Good, and then from here, just push your foot into the thigh and continue to stretch over the leg. So esta es una buena oportunidad. It's a good opportunity to stretch your cadera. You're stretching your hip and you're stretching the hamstring femorales on your extended leg. Good. So try with me if this feels okay. A few little push-ups through the arm. Muy bien. Y desde aquí, go ahead and stretch your espalda anterior. You're going to stretch your spine up and then back. So, arqueando por la columna, through your spine. Try right here, as you move back, push your hands into the floor. Get a big stretch. Now, exhale, stretch your sternum adelante otra vez. Subimos los brazos, you lift your arms, and then... Cambiamos la, uh, la posición de las piernas. So you're going to come forward, take that once again. Let this knee start out bent. Good. You don't have to be in an external rotated position. And you're just going to move and stretch forward. Good. So you can play here just a little bit. See what happens if you move one rib, set of ribs forward, and then the opposite. You may find you get a deeper stretch, lado y lado. I was also reading today, um, um, if you have chronic places in your body that you're just not able to stretch any deeper or go any further, it could be tightness, that deep fascia. Um, and you know, if you have deep fascia problems, I talked to Nikki about it. She's, she's the expert. But big stretches and stretching often can really help release fascia. It's not something you could sort of do in one sitting. All right, so let's open 
your knee to the side, push your foot into your thigh, good. And then from here, once again, let's go ahead and arch. Arqueando la columna adelante y atrás. Good, adelante y atrás. Good, adelante y atrás, last time. Good, and now from here, let's sit all the way up, nice and tall. Let's take your two, las dos piernas afuera. And I want you to, you know, if you'll see this for just a second, I don't use my hands, or I try to, re I resist using my hands to open my legs out to the side, just because I think um, two things. It's good to actually make your muscles do the work, right? And then your leg isn't gonna put itself in a place it can't go. If you try to force your turnout or force the movement of the hip out to the side, sometimes it, um, it will talk back. It'll get sassy. Una cadera muy, muy sassy. All right, so let's take a second, bend and straighten each knee and just feel once again, as you let the femur bone come down, deeper stretch through the back of the leg. Eso, eso, eso. Good, so we'll leave two legs out and then try these little micro movements of your rib cage. Lado y lado, I'm realizing I need to close the curtain behind me. I just like looking at that tree. All right. So now I want you to hold to one side. Let your head kind of move in that direction also. As you're letting your whole torso, let the top arm come up. Good, rotate in and out. I don't know, is anybody else sore from sun salutations on Thursday morning? I'm feeling those today. Inhale, let's sit all the way up. I feel like we're gonna start doing sun salutations on Thursday, it's just gonna be how life is. Vamos a abrir y cerrar aquí. Uh, por el brazo. Muy bien, let's sit all the way up. So now I want you to think about taking opposite arm towards your thigh, towards the shin. So good, so same thing here. Anchor your hips as best you can, and then estiramos en la dirección. You're gonna stretch toward a leg, right? Doesn't matter which one, just make it opposite leg. Vamos a hacerlo otro lado. Good, and you can check in with your back if these micro movements help you feel what happens when you round versus what happens when you lengthen. Good, and those little movements can help you find just a deeper range of motion. Good, exhale, let's sweep up. Cambiamos lados, you're gonna come to the other side and then estiramos adelante, estiramos atrás, you'll stretch it back. Muy bien, muy bien. Good. All right, so let's inhale, come all the way up, sitting tall, un ratito. Good, so pull the legs in, sin usar las manos, without using your hands. And then we're gonna rock to the front of your um, blanket, and then bring your hands here to the legs, and let's exhale and rock back and up just a few times so real key with rolling on the spine rollando is la conexión en los abdominales por los abdominales right so if you use your abdominals to keep the shape of your back steady it's quite pleasant to roll if this part of you is unstable then it's very uncomfortable for the vertebra back here so just pay attention to how to make how to make your movement more pleasurable. See, must placer. Good. Let's pause here on bottom. Open your arms in a T shape, and then just rock your hips. Lado y lado. So you're gonna stretch your hips side to side. Inhaling as you come up. Exhaling as you move the legs away. Try this just a few times. Good, and then from here, I want you to take one set of toes. You're just gonna tap into the floor and then let the opposite toes tap. 
So as you're waking up a little hip flexion here, feel from the ribs through the navel down to the pubic bone. This whole part of your body has firmed. And when I say firm, I don't mean you have a death grip. You know, you're not shoving. There's a difference between engaging your abdominals and then compressing and applying too much force on those inner organs right there. So you want to feel firm, long, supported. Bueno, en contacto, usando los músculos sin abusar, sin demasiada fuerza. Good, so now I want you to take this and just lightly begin a bicycle. Feel the relationship between your heel and your hamstring por los talones y los femorales. Keep going there. And then as you're connecting that heel and hamstring uh, sensation, I want you to feel that abdomen to hip flexor, right? Let's go ahead and change that direction. So your hip flexors are working here. Your abdominal wall is supporting your hip flexor in this action here. Let's pause for a moment and place your two feet on the floor. Stretch and take your two arms up. Take a few little circles with your arms. Circulando con los brazos. Good, notice any little popping sounds, any discomfort. If you feel that, you can again always move smaller, always move slower. Even perhaps, this actually feels really good to me to try this with my elbows bent with a right angle between my forearms and my upper arm bones. Bueno, muy bien, ya está. So now let's interlace your fingers and move your hands behind your head. Same thing, you wanna engage your abdominals here by first pulling your tailbone towards your heels and then by pulling your ribs down toward your navel and feeling your navel move towards the lumbar spine. So there's a, a natural arch in your spine. I want you to honor that. Let it be there. And then we're just gonna use the strength in our abdominals to lift our head and chest. So get this deep strength. You wanna pull down, not allow the belly to bulge. So play with that sensation as you come down and up from the floor a few times. First, anchoring your pelvis. Get it where you want it. Pull the ribs in, pull the belly in, exhale and lift. Do that a couple more times just to wake this up. Inhale and exhale, lifting up. Watch your navel, say hello. Hola, ombligo. And then on this round, I want you to pause here for a moment. Stretch, reach your arms out to your sides. Turn the palms down and up. See if you can get a little bit more height. Good. And then let's go ahead, stretch and extend one leg. Take the leg down and up just a couple of times, still feeling connected to your belly. Good, bending that knee, opposite leg. Stretches, reaches, comes down and up just a few times. And now I want you to leave that leg in the air. Opposite leg comes up. Two arms go up, one head goes abajo, goes down. Good, so the right arm and the left leg, circle. Hacemos círculos afuera. Good, y adentro. Good. Now the left arm, right leg. El brazo izquierdo, la pierna derecha. And we're going out and in. Bueno, circulando otra dirección. Good, take a little pause, and then let's circle all your limbs, todo, los brazos, las piernas, circulando. Good, y cambiamos la dirección otra vez. Good, just feeling that movement, and again, connected to the belly. Very nice, good. Bend your two knees for a moment, sweep your hands behind the head. Inhale, abrimos el pecho, open your chest. Exhale, ribs, bones of the pelvis align, and then you're gonna reach towards one side with your rib cage por las costillas, and then towards the opposite side. So now, as you extend to the left, reach your right leg out. Move back through your center as you 
rotate to the left, extend, arm to your right to extend the left leg. So you're just practicing a little rotation and extension, go so deep, right, into los musculos. Go so deep into your muscles. Vamos a articular, you're gonna really articulate the movement. Exhale, reaching, good. Exhale, reaching. Just almost like you were in slow motion. Exhale, reaching, let's make this one more time. And now we're gonna pause facing your right and let that left leg float down and up a few times in the hip socket. Feeling this just nice, light little lift. Good, inhale. Y vamos a cambiar lado. So now we're gonna take the opposite leg, just let it float down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Very nice, releasing your head. Once again, you're gonna make circles, but now your two legs are glued together. So these circles can provide a little massage for your low back. Cambiamos la dirección. You're going to circle and take them the other way. Good. And then from here, let's pause. You've got your feet all the way together. Roll through the um, bottoms of your feet. So por los talones a las plantas. So you're rolling from the heels to the balls and then right back. Good. So now when the toes lift, I want you to extend the two legs and then let the legs come right back down, toe, ball, heel. So you'll lift, extend, lower, coming down, toe, ball, heel, lift, heel, ball, toe, extend the legs, and lower, toe, ball, heel. One more time, lifting. Good, this time, let the legs come all the way up and then you're just gonna open and close the legs. This, with, this is with them. Um, you're in a neutral rotation through the hips, so you haven't externally rotated just yet. You're just letting the legs open and close. Adduct, abduct in that neutral rotation. Good, so now toes together, heels together. Toes together, heels together. Toes, heels, toes. Heels. Now let the toes come out and pull right back in. So your heels, talones juntos, and your toes están estirando afuera. So now we've got our legs in an external rota rotation. Let's do that one more time. And then from here, bend your knees. Exhale, look the hands back behind the head. And then this time, we're going to sweep your legs out in that external rotation. Lower the knees back in. Exhale, lift your shin bones, pulling your center strong, right back in. So exhale, lift all of the work happening here, supported by the hip flexors. Good, exhaling to lift. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, lift. Now take your two hands to the right thigh. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Good, and then slowly, let your hands here come to your shin, la pantorilla. And you're gonna pull the shoulder blades down the back. Good, so I want you to think three inches above your kneecap here, you're gonna push down and that's gonna help you stretch right here in the hamstring. Good, so when you turn your toes out, Feel now you're working a little bit through your inner thigh and you're also getting a stretch. You can use your hand to support that rotation. Try not to let the bottom leg, the supporting leg, go with your um, leg that's reaching away from the body. Good, so now I want you to take that leg, vamos a cruzar el cuerpo. You're gonna cross the midline and continue to stretch out. So now this is stretching the IT band. Good. Good. And then I want you to bring a folded knee just across, across your chest. So the shin bone is kind of reaching across my torso here. And I'm getting a deep stretch through the back of this leg. 
After that next stretch, go ahead, take your leg all the way up, lift your head and chest, really reconnect to your belly. The left leg come up. Good, slowly, slowly, slowly change the position of the two legs. The right leg comes to the floor. And we're gonna work on creating length through the back of this leg. So let the right leg, la pierna derecha, is anchored in the floor. And then from your quadricep, you're gonna create extension from the knee. And that is gonna help you really lengthen your hamstring. Good, good, good. So now, let the left leg open slightly to the side. I want you to move your rib cages down so your core, right, is fundamentally supporting this leg. No tienes que, you don't have to use your hand to hold it up, right? And you certainly don't want to feel your opposite side pulling in just because this is really fundamentally um, better for the pelvis to be able to keep it lined up here. So vamos a cambiar el lado. You're going to switch the side or really reach through the heel. When you reach through the heel, you'll feel more deep stretch in the calf, la pantorrilla. Como no? Muy bien, doblamos la rodilla. So you're going to bend this knee and then just let your external rotators back here. Get un poco de amor. El amor que viene de estiramiento. The love that comes from stretching. Very nice. So now let's exhale. This hand comes back behind the leg. Exhale, slowly reach up. Lift your head and chest. I want you to take dos piernas arriba. And once again, scoop the belly strong. Pull the elbow slightly wide. Reach one arm alongside the ear. Feel your belly muscles connect. Good. Opposite arm alongside the ear, holding yourself up with just one side. And then exhale, two arms. Good, 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 good. Let's bring your hands behind the head. Bend in your knees, opening your chest. Good, and then you're gonna exhale, lift right back up with two legs. Inhale, float it down, opening the chest, opening the armpits. Exhale, lifting right back up. Last time, doblamos. Good, exhale, subimos. Las manos, you're gonna put the hands here back behind the thighs. Now, lower the head, and I want you to now really connect to your belly again. So the abdominal wall pulls up towards your lumbar. Mientras. Las femorales, you're continuing to stretch your um, hamstrings. Flex the feet, and that's going to stretch your calves. Las pantorillas. Good. And then the act of those legs reaching away from you is going to give you more stretch in your lumbar spine. Good. So try to take your tailbone up. Good. And then let's just slowly bring your knees back in. Take the hands behind the thighs. Take your gaze up towards your belly. Scoop the belly. And exhale, bring yourself onto your sit bones. Good. Let's take your hands to your ankles for a moment. Good. And just stretch over. Let your head move down. So let your neck release. So just so you remember, forward bends are really good for um, reducing sensory input. So when you forward bend, you're sort of blocking out a little bit of the world. So you can really feel what's going on inside you here. So from that forward bend, let's bring your arms up. And then I want you to slowly, slowly, vamos a bajar muy despacio el piso. Good. So stay right there with your belly. Inhale, the arms come up into a little shape overhead. Take your elbows into your sides just a few times. So elbows out. And then elbows ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who calls during a yoga class? Who calls on the phone anymore, anyway? I Mark, I'm teaching yoga on Zoom. I thought I'd You're with who? I'm on the internet teaching yoga. I have to call you back.
Okay. 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 I'll tell you right back. Bye. Bye. I thought I. <laughs> I thought I um hit uh declined, but I guess I hit answer. <laughs> oh goodness. My friend Mark and I have done theater together for twenty years. All right. So now let's go ahead. Bring your hands right back to your hips. And then you're going to exhale, take your gaze in. So can you get right back there to the belly? And then use that strength to help you pull, lift the vertebra up from the floor. Muy bien. So just that key. Stretch this leg out. And then we're going to pull your elbows here out to the side just a few times. Once again, this stretch could really help you Get more length in that femur bone. Good, and then if you feel like it, go ahead, try a little slide down this leg. Good, take a breath, check in with your neck, moviendo lado y lado. Then feel your chin alineado. You're gonna feel your chin lined up over your chest. Scoop in at your center, and exhale. Lifting, 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 all the way back up. Good, release your hands for just a moment. Feel the power in that, in that quadricep holding your leg up. Good, let's change sides. So hands, manos a la pantoria, izquierda. Good, so now take a breath, move the elbows wide, and move your lumbar up and forward. Good, and then from here, inhale, take a breath. Let's exhale, lower all the way down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Connecting to that deep strength. La fuerza profunda. Good. Check in on el cuello. Look at your, check in on your neck. And then vamos a subir otra vez muy despacio. Very, 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 very nice. Good. Take a moment. Leaving the arms up, leaving that leg up. Now we're going to bend both knees. Good. Find yourself up on both sits bones. Slide your two legs forward. Take your two arms up. Inhale. And then take the hands anywhere they want to go. Your thighs, knees, shins, wherever your spine reaches naturally. Move the lumbar in. Move it closer to you. And then exhale. Allow it to move away. So move the lumbar moviendo adentro. Y atrás. Adentro. Y atrás. Good. Adentro. Let's hold that for just a moment. And then come all the way forward. Take a big stretch in a Pashimottanasana. So again, this is a pose we've already done. We just did it with our legs over our heads. Feel what it, how it's different here. Good. We're going to inhale, inspiramos, mirando arriba, you look up, and then exhale, bring your two arms up. Good. Inhale, tuck your knees in, and then we're just going to turn into an all fours position. So I'm going to leave the blanket here, but we'll do a few little different things today. So I want you to inhale, lift and reach your hips and find a very full, deep down dog. And then I just want you to bend your right knee. Notice that the left heel can go a little bit deeper in towards the floor. And then you're going to exhale, extend the right leg up. Good. We're going to stay low. Bring your right foot forward and then bring your left knee down. So let this get into the hip a little. And you can kind of rock your weight forward. And back, move it forward, and move it back. Good, move it forward, and move it back. Good. And then let's pause here with the legs stretching forward. Take two hands, 
to the outside of this leg. Oh, very nice. We'll inhale, bring that weight forward once again. Take two arms up. A little bit of work in the hips to stabilize, to balance. Good. And then from here, push your hands back into the floor. Lift the two hips and take your right foot back. Let's go back into the down dog. Good. You can do a little bit of work from the upper arms, letting them float out and back in, out and back in, out and back in. Bend your left knee. Let that leg lift all the way up, getting a stretch in your hip. And then vamos a poner el pie en el piso. So you're going to put that foot on the floor, let the back knee come down, and then you're gonna rock the weight adelante. Moviendo el peso adelante y atrás. Good, so the low back stretches here. Good, and now the front of the hip. Está estirando, staying light in this movement. Good, let's pause with your hip reaching back now. And then dos manos, you're gonna take two hands to the outside of that leg, dropping it in the hip socket. Good, let's push a little weight into your front foot, come up. And then exhale, let's bring two hands back down, reach your um, back foot up in the air. So you're taking the hips up and then back into a little down dog. Good. So now let's walk your hand back towards your feet. Make that nice and slow, steady, easy. You can move your blanket out of the way for a momentito. And then let's inhale, bring ourselves all the way up. Good. And then at the base here of your mat, moviendo tu, el peso del cuerpo lado y lado. So you're just going to move the weight of the body side to side, maybe picking up a foot, maybe not. Good. So let's pause with your weight on the left side, pick up your right, so take your two arms up and then just take the right knee down and up a few times, lifting the leg till the knee comes to the same horizontal plane as the hip. Good. We're going to shift the weight onto the right side and then vamos a hacerlo otra vez. Good. So now the left femur bone rises up in the hip socket. Good. And then let's shift that weight right back. Bring your hands to the hips. Lift now your right knee till it comes up. And then exhale, extend from the shin bone. And we'll take this a few times, feeling the belly strong, connected, ribs and hips. Muy bien, let that right leg come down. Cambiamos lados. So now you're lifting your left leg. Extend the shin bone, bring it back. Extend and bend, esperando, doblando. Good. And now from here, let's set that foot down, picking the right back up. Step it into the middle of your mat. Good. And then you're going to take the arms up as the front knee bends, straighten and lower. Front knee bends, we straighten and lower. You can adjust this right foot as you need to. Good. Down and up. Let's try that one more time. Down and up. But this time we're going to hold the bend in the front knee, hands to the hip, lift the left back leg, take it down and up. Try to really put your weight in the right foot, balance the hips too. 
One, bend and straighten the knee now. Five and four and three and two and one. Good. Exhale, set that leg down. Good. Take a big stretch over your front leg and stand up. And bending that knee, come up through a warrior one, taking your two palms together. Good, letting the reach of your fingertips behind you stretch your abdomen. Good, let's bring your arms in front of your heart and then let your weight move into your right leg. Once again, letting the left leg come up. Stay right here, maybe your thumbs at your sternum so you can feel your chest lift and then reach the arms out. Exhale, put weight in your left back foot and step in. Good, rock your weight. Lado y lado, otra vez. You're gonna rock the weight side to side. Once again, and then we're gonna vamos a estirar. You're gonna move through those positions again. So here we go. Let's pause now. Shift your weight under the right leg. Lift your left leg. Step it into the middle of the mat. Your two arms forward. Doblando la rodilla. Y so vamos a doblar. Y bueno, bajar los brazos. No. Doblando la rodilla, subiendo y bajando los brazos. Very nice. Take this a couple more times. Good. And then from here, we're going to pause for just a moment, feeling that weight. Anchor in your front foot. Take your Hands now to your hips for a moment. We're gonna take the weight on the front leg. And now from here, bend and straighten your back knee. We'll extend from the hip in just a moment. Three, two, and one. Good, now stretch and reach the leg out. Same thing, down and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, setting that foot. All the way down, now take your hands to your low back. Y vamos a estirar, you're gonna stretch over this leg, sobre la pierna. Now bending your front knee, let's exhale, bring your torso, your sternum up slightly. Into a warrior one, your fingertips now can reach behind you. Big stretch, tailbone dropping, lowering, back heel reaching into the floor, fingertips stretching out. Well, let's bring our thumbs to the sternum and exhale, take weight into your front leg and lift your hips. I'm sorry, lift your back femur, good. Let's exhale, set that foot now. Step your front foot back. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, move your hands down so they come in front of your sternum with the elbows. Just rest lightly right above the thighs. Good. From here, open into a big, long, flat back. Good. From here, your hands move to your shins for just a moment. Let's exhale, pull back with your, your hands here on your shins, and now let the top of your head, la cabeza está flotando abajo. Good, let's push in with your hands. And now walk your fingertips. Let's walk them out right, left, and right. Very nice. Take your knees down, big toes together. 
sits bones move back and vamos a estirar. You're gonna stretch here for a moment. Adamukha Virasana. Little child's pose. Let's inhale, come right back up. And then this time, putting your blanket once again on your mat. Let's move our knees here for just a moment. Take your hands to the low back. Drop the tailbone down. Pull the elbows towards one another. Open the chest and feel right here, the whole sort of gluteal group firing up to help you support your spine as you move back. Couple big breaths. Good, and then we're gonna exhale and let your sternum move forward down towards the floor. Let the top of the head come down. Good. Exhale, bringing yourself all the way back up. Let's um, inhale, take your arms, reach them wide for a moment. Now we're gonna kind of flat back, back so your back goes with the thighs. You'll open the chest, breathe here, a couple breaths. Good, and now we're gonna come right back down. Let the palms now make contact as you start to bring your head here to the floor. We're gonna inhale, sweep, bring your spine all the way back up. Now clasp your hands together, elbows slightly wide, Bring your forearms here to the floor and exhale, push and lift your hip. Good, again, continuing to allow the tailbone to rise. You really reach the hip sitting bones out. Very nice. And then from here, let's exhale, lower your two knees, just reach your right leg out. Good. And then if you can, reach your left arm out and just hold for a few breaths. Exhale, release, bringing those limbs back in. Inhale, take another breath, let the head come down. You can even push now with your shoulder blades. So push with the palms, let the head tuck beneath your shoulder blades, get a deep stretch in your neck. Exhale, though, namas, lower your elbows. And then from here, you'll reach your left leg out and then the right arm, holding just two or three big breaths here. Good, we'll inhale, bring the Knee back in, again, another stretch of your back. And then let's exhale, elbows back down to the mat, let the right leg and left leg um, reach back and then lift the pelvis up and then let the pelvis come down. So you'll stretch up and then lower back down. And stretch, estirando arriba. Good, lowering back down. Now let the knees come to the floor. La cadera, el piso. And then you're gonna let your head move side to side over your mat, over the shoulders. Estirando lado y lado. Y arriba y abajo. Good, inhale, taking a breath. And then let's exhale, slowly lift. Your chest come back down. Stack your hands one on top of the other. Take your right knee, lift the leg, bend the knee, straighten it, reach it right back out. So now the left leg lifts, you bend, straighten, and then lower. So I think the most important part of this exercise is the lengthening back out from the bent knee. So we're alternating 
And I want you to really pay attention, pull in atención, and this movement right here, we have an opportunity to create deep stabilization in your knee joint or to kind of hyperextend and let that leg fall back, right? And that is knowing not going to give you any engagement with your glutes, right? And um, uh, this can really help us build that back body connectivity. Good. So now, Reach your toes just slightly wide. You'll still pull your tailbone down to your navel in, but I want you to now let the leg, kutha, the leg is gonna cross the midline. You're gonna reach opposite heel to sitting bone. And again, focus on that, particularly on the act of lengthening the leg and then lowering it back down. So breaking down from here, the leg lowers. You lift, you bend, you straighten and lower. Lift, bend, straighten. Good. Let's pause here for a moment. Just rock the hips, rock the tailbone. You can make this a kind of big movement here. And tuck the tailbone underneath you. Good. And then we'll bring your feet together. Push your hands in. Once again, just getting a stretch through your low back. Good, let the elbows move wide, let the head come down, and then let's push and lift your right back up. Good. A couple more, <laughs> inhaling, and then exhaling to push. Estirando arriba, muy bien. So that one more time, inhale, and exhale, good. So now we're gonna pause, let your sternum come just above the floor, bring your palms under your shoulders, and then lift the two legs. And then you can sweep the arms just back behind you. Use an exhale to find an extra inch. Un poquito más. Good. And then your arms out to the side. Un poquito más. Good. Then your arms out into a Y shape. Reaching. Very nice. And then from here, right hand to your right foot. Lower your head. Stretch. Esperando un ratito. Good. So I want you to think about allowing your two hip points to move evenly into the floor. So if you've shifted all your weight to the left, it's because the right hip is tight. So try to move a little bit more weight. That side. Good. Exhale. Pull yourself back with that little lift. Oh, yeah. Let's lower that down. And we'll try that on the other side. So muy bien, la pierna izquierda. You're gonna just first stretch the hip by moving the femur bone down towards the floor and feeling the two hip sockets coming even to the floor. Or two hip points, I should say. Move evenly into the floor. Good. And then exhale, lift, opening your chest. Good, see if you can keep your back even as you lift. Excellent, we'll slow it right back down. Two hands to two feet. Squeeze, pull the elbows together. Vamos a poner las rodillas también juntas. So remember these actions. Pulling your knees together. Jalando las rodillas juntas. And then pulling your tailbone down your belly and lift, subimos. If you want to rock a little bit on your belly, get ready for dinner. Muy bien. From there, exhale, release. Let the left arm come alongside the ear, and you're going to lift now your right leg just down and up. Let it float in the hip socket. Yes, the Good. Let it sweep forward. Let it sweep back. Paying attention to where, how you create stability here. Good, and then let's circle the leg. Circulando la pierna. Circle it the other way. So we're all here still in a neutral rotation. Good, now you're gonna bend the knee and open into external. Reach the leg right back out. Bend and open, external rotation. Reach the leg back out. Bend open, 
Good. So you've externally rotated the femur bone, allowing it to come up. Good. Let's do that one last time. And place your foot on the thigh. Take your opposite arm up. Now we're doing what I like to call fallen tree pose. Okay, so now let this top knee come down. Oh, and let your top arm travel back. This be a big stretch here for your side. Very nice. Let's exhale, reach those two limbs back up. Place your top arm in front of your bottom arm. Exhale, lift, lift the bottom arm, lift the top leg. Pull the knees in and let's switch sides. And let me also Vamos a chequear. Oh my gosh, is that possible? Is it possible <laughs> we've gone over? Uh, sorry, let's just do this side real fast and then we'll take a few breaths. Uh, I can't even believe that. All right, here we go. So we gotta take arms and legs here. So this top arm can just rest in front of you for a moment. Let it help you stabilize your shoulder. You don't want to put a whole lot of weight here when you lift, but you can use it to balance if that's helpful. Good. So we're going to take now a moment, hold the top leg lifted. You're going to externally rotate, reach the leg back out. Externally rotate. Boy, I must have needed a really slow, gentle class because I lost track of time. Good. Exhale, bending the knee, reaching it back out. Go ahead, hold that external rotation here for a moment, placing the foot now up into the thigh, top arm, over your bottom arm. Big breath. Good, and then let's let that top arm travel back. Oh, and your top knee travel forward. And then we're just going to use an exhale to slide that leg over. And come onto our backs for just a moment. And take a few big deep breaths, respiraciones profunda. And then let's hug our knees up over the chest. And then let's roll our weight to our right side. And then push up with your arms. Bring ourselves to a seated position. Good. Take a big breath, bow the head, close the eyes. Tu práctica es un regalo. Muchas gracias. Disfruta el resto de la noche. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, I, gracias. Gracias. Very nice.